Should you pay for that more expensive wig, or might you be happier with a similar style that costs less money? That's what we're going to talk about in today's edition of Saturday School. Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. And it's time for another edition of Saturday School, my new feature where I share wig wisdom and wig knowledge right here, right now. So this week I posted a video on a wig called Quartzide Waves. I bought Quartzide Waves several months ago thinking that I would wear her for the summer months, maybe take her on a vacation trip. None of that ever happened, so she, so she sat on my shelf. But I'll drop a link below to the review that I did of Quartzide Waves so you can look and see what I'm talking about. But I have her right here at the ready, and I want to compare Quartzide Waves with another review I did of Amaretto by Beltress, which is one of my absolute favorite wigs. And we're going to look at them both side by side in a moment. But so here's what happened. I did Quartzide Waves. I looked at the video. Of course, I looked at the video. I edited it. I edited that video myself, and at, when I was watching the playback, I thought, you know, I really could have done a better job on that review. I did not rush through the review. It took me a while to do it. I did it thoughtfully, but when I played it back, I just really felt like I need to take another look at that wig, and so that's what we're, that's what we're going to do right now. Now, one of the things that uh, the instructions said, if you watch the video, Quartzide Waves, one of the things that the instructions said was, do not comb the wig. Now, today I'm going to comb the wig. I actually started combing her yesterday, which got me thinking about doing this side-by-side -side explanation for you. And so let me just show you what I mean. So here is Amaretto. Amaretto has all the bells and whistles. She is a beautiful style by Beltress. She's in the color Roca Margarita Blonde, a beautiful color. And I again, I don't normally do the blondes, but she has enough white in her that I felt like she would be okay with my coloring. All right, so there is Amaretto in Roca Margarita Blonde. Now here is Quartzide Waves. And I want to show you, I mean, look really how similar. Here's Amaretto on my, on my right, your left. And then here is Quartzide Waves on my left, your right. Don't you think that they look very, very similar? Wouldn't you be tempted if you didn't have the budget for Amaretto to reach for Quartzide Waves. Let's break these two wigs down side by side. Now, uh, Amaretto pretty much comes to you like this out of the box. Her, her, her curl pattern is a little tighter. I've worn her a few times, so I've combed out those waves, and I'm still happy with how the waves look. She's wavy enough for me. Quartzide Waves if you again, if you look at that review, you'll see that those those waves were much tighter, and they actually looked pretty bad, truth be told. But they told you not to comb them out. Use your fingers, and so I obey, I obeyed the instructions, and I did not comb the wig out. Well, after I got done with the review, and as I said, after I watched back the review, I said, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna comb these waves out and see what happens. They're not totally combed out yet because I wanted to show you this side has pretty much been combed out. This side has not. All right, so I'm just going to set Amaretto aside before I do just a quick review of her hair. She is a lace front. She does have that generous parting space right there that you can see so that when you look at her from the top, you're seeing scalp. You're always going to pay for that, always and forever. And then she has a good amount of open wefting on the cap. She has the covered ear tabs, and she has an extended nape. Again, you can see all of this in detail at the link below where I reviewed Amaretto. Her hair is very fine, silky, 
light. It is not a heavy density wig and there is no permatees. Okay, so that's Amaretto. Oh, I forgot to mention to you that uh, Amaretto also has heat-friendly fibers. And coincidentally, she is on sale right now. I had not planned to say this at all, but over at Wig Studio One, you're going to get an additional 30% off her already sale price. So you can grab her for $211.44. Wow, I paid much more than that when I purchased Amaretto. Okay, so now let's go back and talk about Quartzide Waves. Now, Quartzide Waves... Quartzide Waves is not a lace front machine made and she does have that nice piece of felt right there if you don't have any hair that's going to be really soft against your skin again I'll drop the link below where I have the full review I just did it I think it was yesterday and then she's got the open ear tabs has a little tiny metal stay in there and she is open wefted in the cap you can see that all open wefted she has velcro uh, adjusters and she has a, a short open nape and her hair let's head over to again wig studio one this wig you can purchase I don't normally talk about prices but just for the sake of this review right now today January 22nd 2022 um, you can get her for $128 and Quartzide Waves is true to life fiber. Okay, so her hair, her hair compared to Amaretto's hair, Amaretto's hair is a little silkier, not tremendously much more, but a little silkier. And then you'll notice because she doesn't have that lace front, you're not going or the um, monofilament part, you're not going to be able to see through to the scalp. And again, that's where the price point changes. The lace front, the monofilament part, which I talked about last week, I believe. So you see, when you move her, it's not terrible. It doesn't look all nesty in there, but you're not going to see straight through to the scalp. So, here's that page over at Wig Studio One. That shows, again, quartzide waves. What I'm going to do now is finish combing her through. They said not to comb her, so I was a little afraid to do that. But, honestly, I probably wouldn't have worn her just the way she looked. Unless maybe I just threw a hat on my head and toward the end of the video you see I put a baseball cap on my head. But as I was combing her out, and, and actually I, I first started at the crown. Because when I looked at the, um, let me go back, when I looked at the picture See this girl, how it was all straight up in here? That's when I thought, wait a minute, I'm going to take a comb and, and straighten out this area right here and see what happens. So that's what I did. So I started combing up here, right in there, and I liked how the fibers looked much, much better. And she started to take on a whole different look. She's not white. She's a silver gray. She's really very nice. Her fibers are very nice. Her coloring is very nice. I never want to do an injustice to a wig. I just feel like, you know, like I said in the video yesterday, there are so many people that cannot afford a three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar wig or more. And I'm not even saying that I can. So now I've got her pretty much. I'm not really sure why they they said not to comb her out because honestly I felt I feel like she looks this is just me but I feel like she looks a lot better combed through and if I absolutely made a terrible mistake 
I could wash her and she'd go right back to the way she was. So now here she is. Let me back up. What do you think? I think she looks so much better. I wished I had time to put her on my head for you today. I don't. I'm getting ready for company tonight, but I wanted to get this video out. I just want to say that when you're looking for wigs, yes, Amaretto by Beltress has wonderful, wonderful features. She's got that lace front. She's got the monofilament part, so when you bend over, it looks like you're looking right through to your scalp. But everyone, I have to, so there's two ways to look at this. One, if your budget does not allow you to go three, four, five hundred dollars, try to find something similar style that's less money and see if you can work with it. After looking at that review yesterday, I thought, you know what? I can work with that wig. I really can. And at some point this week, I'm going to take, a, I'm going to put her back on my head. I'm going to take a couple of pictures and I'm going to post it. It'll be a very short video just as a follow up to this one. And I'm sorry, I really just don't have time to do it today. But I feel that I was wrong. I feel that after having combed her out, she would work. Um, now, Having said that, if you can find a really great price, and as I said to you uh, just a few moments ago, if you can find a price, a sale price, on a wig that does have lace front, that does have monofilament part, I mean, yeah, those are nice upgrades. Maybe save for a couple of more weeks and go ahead and reach for that wig, because in this case... Um, the uh, Amaretto, again, is $211 because she's on a wonderful sale, and hairdo is at $128. So that's not that tremendously much more. But if you're truly on a bare-bones budget, I really feel that that's where something like this wig by hairdo can shine. So I hope that makes sense, everybody. Um, let me know your comments below. I really... One of the things that, if you follow me, you know my heart is to teach, is to inform. I'm learning all the time myself. My my wig wisdom is, is certainly not as vast as other people that have been out there for years and years. But what I'm learning, I'm sharing with you. So before I say goodbye, I want to tell you what's on my head today. This is a topper from Hair You Wear, uh, Raquel Welch, Transformations. And it is a 12-inch topper. Color is RL5660. I reviewed her a while back on my channel. Uh, again, I'll link that below. Love this topper. Easy to put on. And uh, I reach for her often. Raquel Welch makes beautiful toppers, everybody. All right, so thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like. Hit the little bell icon and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Remember to look for the silver linings of life, everybody. Bye-bye.